In this video, we're going to learn how to use and integrate a slideshow inside of your website. Now, we previously talked about the ticker element, which is essentially going to create this animated slideshow. And now, in order to access the slideshow, we simply have to go on the very top left under the insert panel and interactive. And you're going to find the slideshow just beneath the ticker element. So at this point, we're simply going to add it and we're going to increase the width just a little bit by using the option Alt key in order to create some more width laterally. And what we're going to do is we're going to want to sync up this set of logos, which if we examine them, it's literally just a stack with some stacks beneath them, which essentially contain these uh, logos as they're individually uh, nested uh, within uh, icon and text. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to select this uh, item and uh, we're going to connect it, similarly to what we did with the ticker. But uh, now we're going to notice uh, something different. And that is if we go back uh, into the preview you can see how we can uh, create, uh, uh, how, how we just created a slideshow. So at this point, uh, you can simply utilize the arrows and uh, we're going to uh, delete this autoplay in uh, just a minute. So if you go over here and click on no, it's uh, going to be much easier to see what's going on. So at the moment, uh, we have this set of logos and as I click on the right or left, all of them are going to switch at the same time. Now there's going to be several occasions where you simply want to have multiple different items and selections below. So I'm going to give you a brief demo of how you can very easily accomplish that by utilizing this other method. So I'm going to select uh, the content and I'm simply going to delete uh, the connection that we have uh, between uh, the slideshow and these logos. And uh, I'm also going to select the, the logos and I'm going to remove the stack so that we have them individually. Now at this point, what we want to do is uh, to simply go ahead and create uh, the individual connections, oops. And here we go. And we have the second connections and the third connection. And uh, we can go on, but uh, essentially each and every time you create uh, a connection, you're going to see a dot, which uh, basically conveys that uh, you created one new element that uh, you can hide in this uh, slideshow. Now the beauty of it is that, of course, maybe for logos it's a bit overkill to have uh, such a slideshow like this uh, but you can add pretty much any element you could add uh, elements uh, uh, like this you could add testimonials you could have uh, uh, features uh, sections uh, so you can see how powerful this uh, element and component is uh, starting to become uh, within your workflow now on top of that uh, there's going to be several different options so similarly to the ticker uh, you can decide the direction so if i put it up and uh, i go back uh, you can see how now we have a vertical slideshow and uh, say that uh, let's just bring it back to the original the autoplay you already noticed uh, that is essentially going to autoplay all of the slideshow elements uh, at a specific interval uh, draggable, this one is uh, essentially going to enable you to drag uh, and uh, you know move uh, these uh, in, uh, in a drag state. So quite nice, especially for creating uh, some specific uh, features or interactions on your website. Um, the current is uh, essentially going to set uh, where <laughs> the current uh, uh, position uh, is going to be like so I usually keep it at zero. The effects uh, is uh, related uh, to the opacity scale perspective and rotate. Uh, so say that uh, I want to you know scale 
things down. Let's just see. Uh, that is going to essentially uh, create a, a different effect. And uh, if I go back and uh, I change the alignment, for example, this would change the alignment, but in this specific instance, we don't really have like any uh, point of reference that would change anything visually. So it doesn't really make uh, any sense. Items, this is where you can start uh, having more minute control over your slideshow. So you can have uh, uh, more items or less items per single slideshow slide. And uh, then you can also increase uh, or decrease the gap. As you can see, we can uh, have uh, minute uh, options and um, really granularity control over the items. Padding, uh, this one should be pretty self-explanatory by now. You can adjust the padding on the top right, bottom and the left side. Uh, as well as uh, the radius, if uh, especially this is, if this is going to be on uh, a dark uh, background, uh, the radius is going to basically smooth up uh, the borders. Uh, you can also change the transition, so this is going to be very similar to the animations and interaction effects. Uh, clipping, uh, you can decide if uh, fade or overflow, and uh, also you can change uh, the uh, arrows uh, display settings so you can change the color you can decide if showing them or not uh, you can also basically upload a um, specific uh, previous previous or next uh, icon, arrow icon so this is likely going to be an SVG which uh, you can add in order to customize this you can also change the size, uh, make them bigger, make them smaller, uh, adjust the radius, uh, so zero or essentially going to be squares all the way to the bigger numbers which are going to reflect uh, in circles. Uh, fade in, uh, distance, uh, inset, these are you know all options that you have at your disposal. You can also have granular options uh, in regards to the dots, uh, you can even just not show them all together. So maybe you want to keep uh, either the arrow or the dots. Uh, usually that's what I do in the vast majority of projects. You can change the size, uh, you can change uh, the, the inset, uh, uh, the gap. Uh, so all of these options are going to be pre pretty straightforward uh, for the very most part. Uh, so I won't uh, spend too much time on them. But uh, you get the point. You can pretty much customize everything uh, within uh, these uh, values uh, and, um, and as always I encourage you to experiment uh, try and create a slideshow yourself uh, and uh, see how uh, that works uh, and uh, you're going to become familiar with these options in uh, pretty much no time